morning guys, I'm going to vlog today because I have a photo shoot, actually I was invited by Arlesa Zhuravlova, who's a famous makeup artist here in Klaipeda to basically be a makeup model because she's coming out with her third book this winter and it's a book about makeup and she wanted me to be one of the makeup models. Uh, I actually have no idea what look she will do on me because she just asked me to send a makeupless picture of myself to her and yeah, I guess that's gonna be a surprise. I'll find out today. Here I am at the studio. I'm makeupless and I have some spots, but what you gonna do? So we're, we'll take a before and after shot for, you know, oh, I'm gonna show you my look. So this, this is me without makeup, with makeup, <laughs> and this will be my look with freckles. I love it. So it's like a bronze, lips, bronze eyes, and lots of freckles. Honestly, like a perfect makeup look because I always wanted to have freckles, so we'll see. This is a mood board. because I'm super hungry already and then I'm gonna do some filming because I cannot let this makeup go to waste it's not very often that I have makeup done usually it's just me doing my own makeup so it's a nice treat to get it done all right I'll see you at home didn't even finish my coffee this morning look it's full I rushed out the door because I didn't want to be late I'm gonna film and go back to my parents to eat because my mom prepared something for dinner and they're waiting for me because tonight is the semi-final of Eurovision and we are hardcore watchers of Eurovision my whole family because I don't know it's not because of the songs themselves per se but just the whole thing I guess um, family gathering together and like judging the songs the looks the makeup everything we have a lot of fun so cannot say no to watching Eurovision with them. I wanted to show you guys my laptop because it now looks like the best laptop ever because it's covered in friends stickers and I got them off eBay and look at that smelly cat Regina Falange uh, how you doing? basically unagi there are so many uh, stickers in the package but these were my favorite ones and another thing that i just picked up also ordered these on ebay is headbands they're a trend piece but also very good for doing your makeup so i ordered some on ebay the sort of squishy one velvet headband um and then um 
a bunch of these. I think there were 10 or 12 in the package, but I just didn't like other colors. So I'm gonna give them away to Linda, my mom, whoever wants. These are the ones I'm keeping. I'm gonna sit down because I have three major things to update you guys on. Um, but first I wanna try these on camera to see what they will look like. I think they will look really nice. <laughs> Um, I think they will look really nice in pictures. Um, let's try some of the thinner ones. Blair Waldorf vibes. Like yellow. My hair is not behaving today, so we had really hard time styling my hair today on the shoot because I just washed it. Literally, it was still damp as I went in for the photo shoot, so it was super difficult to style it okay the first major thing is that i'm going to jordan with my family only for four days so a super short trip but it's a birthday surprise for my dad not a surprise anymore because he already knows that we're going there and it's been so long since all four of us went somewhere together um, that is my parents, my brother and I, so it's gonna be so fun. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Always wanted to go to Jordan. It looks so exotic to me. I really, really want to see Petra, uh, Dead Sea and Wadi Rum Desert, where the Martian, Star Wars and Transformers were filmed. So I know it's gonna be incredible. We'll stay at a Bedouin camp and, you know, eat their local food and basically spend the night in the desert and that's just such a dream and I, I cannot wait the scenery the landscape look amazing it, it's like being on mars or something and i'm going there in six days so super excited about that i don't know if i'm feeling this headband today oh and i'm definitely gonna vlog everything because i know it's gonna be an unforgettable trip okay second major thing Probably the most exciting one, definitely the most exciting one, is that I'm getting a dog. You might have guessed this one because I mentioned that I am gonna get a dog in the future or that I really want a dog. When Alex and I were in Florence, we found this super cute uh, Spaniel Dorian. We didn't find him, but he belonged to a store owner and we would pass the store every day as we were going to the city. And first of all, it was a Spaniel, my favorite dog breed, and then secondly, he was called Dorian, my favorite character from my favorite book. Completely fell in love with that dog, insert footage here. Um, and yeah, getting a dog was in my plans for a long time, I just didn't know when or how, but I am getting a dog on the day that we come back from Jordan, so we'll pick him up on the way home, because he's not from Klepera and not even from Vilnius, he is from Anikshi, which is another hour and a half away from Vilnius and then three hours back to Klepeda. Um, but the owner said that he does well in, in cars, so it shouldn't be a problem. By the time I pick him up, he'll be three months old and I'm just so excited. Wait a minute. Can you see Louis in the background? <laughs> um, also, you might wonder, what about Louis? How well he's gonna deal with a dog? Um, spaniels are, by the way, didn't tell you, I'm getting a spaniel. They are family dogs and they do very well with children, other pets, cats, so shouldn't be a problem. Fingers crossed. You guys know what a skittish cat Louis is, so I'm not worried about the dog. I'm worried about him, obviously. He will be scared, but the dog will be small. It's not like I'm not adopting an already adult dog. Yeah, I've watched lots of videos on how to introduce a dog to a cat. We'll see, hopefully they will be friends. That's a dream of mine. Um, they will have to get along because they will live under the same roof. So I'll do my best to make sure they're okay with each other. And yeah, it's gonna be a boy, so I'll have two boys. Look. I already bought things for him. So I bought two little collars. Super cute one, leather and just like this dusty pink one. And I also got one of those flexi um, leashes. I think they're the best on the market um, for walking your dog. 
And then I got this leather leash. I got him his first toy, a little bunny. And then this for teeth because he will be a puppy so he'll bite onto everything. And um, when I told about it to my family, they're like, your furniture and everything in your apartment will be ruined because he's gonna chew onto everything, your table, your kitchen, everything that's chewable. So I need to get lots of um, chewy toys for his teeth. But as I said, I'm watching videos and educating myself on how to prevent dog from chewing your furniture and things. So yeah, that's something I'm super excited about. I cannot contain myself. It's less than two weeks away and um, I always wanted a dog. You guys will definitely get to see him, but if you wanna be the first to see him, you have to follow me on Instagram. That's my username. Because I'll share it on my Instagram, my Insta stories first, before I show him in my videos, because I will start editing videos and start vlogging only when I'm back from Jordan. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. Uh, to have a little sneak peek. My cousin Daiva, she's obsessed with dogs. When I showed her pictures um, of the dog that I'm getting, she started crying. Like, this is how much she loves dogs. She just started crying. She said, he's so cute. And she started bawling her eyes out. So that's the second thing. And the third major thing is that I'm launching my own brand. And it's gonna be only on Instagram at the moment. I'm not sure yet if I will have um, a separate website for it. It was on my mind, but for now I'm gonna start with Instagram. It's going to be a vintage shop. So you'll be able to shop on Instagram because Instagram has business accounts where you can, um, you know, have your own shops and like click on the picture and you know, you can shop through pictures. The brand is called Akmoa. Um, it's a Lithuanian word meaning stone. There's no particular reason behind it. Just love the way that it sounds. The idea was long in my mind, but I never came around to realizing my ideas. So in Italy, one rainy evening, Aux and I were just, we had a gnocchi in this super good restaurant in, was it in Florence? I think in Florence. Um, yeah, we had this amazing dinner and we were chatting all evening about life and plants and whatnot. And I told her that I really wanted to have a shop of selected vintage pieces. I enjoy the process of finding little gems. Uh, so I told her that I, I would love to have a vintage shop and she's like, you're really good at it, you should do it. So with Auxis kicking my butt and help, it's coming to life uh, while she was still here in Lithuania. She's back to China now. She helped me um, with the shoot, the first shots of the brand. And I want to say a massive thanks to Auxa because without her, I'm not sure if this would have happened as quickly. <laughs> um, but yeah, she was like, just, just do it. And she helped me a lot. Like the pictures, the first pictures are so incredible to me personally. I don't know what you guys, hopefully you guys will like them as well, but we put our heart and soul into this. And um, I'm hoping that Akmo Vintage will grow into something very beautiful and special to me. So what you'll find there is, as I said, vintage pieces that I will collect from everywhere. Like wherever I go in the world, I'll try to bring things back home. Um, it's gonna be clothes, shoes, accessories, jewelry, and also home decor pieces because as you know, I'm very passionate about home decor. Everything will be very much to my own personal style, very neutral, earthy tones. Ideally, I want everything on the shop to be quite timeless, very wearable, easy to mix and match, and um, you know, long wearing items, not something that you'll wear once, like a trend piece, but you know, something that you will have in your wardrobe for years. And the page on Instagram is already live. Here it is. You can give it a follow if you like, Akmo Vintage, and I will keep updating it. You'll definitely find things like this uh, jacket on there. Three major things that I wanted to update you guys on. Um, what else can I talk about? Oh, my piercing is healing pretty well. It doesn't hurt or anything unless I pull it. Like if I sometimes 
uh, my hair can tug on it a little bit it's doing pretty well I have to clean it twice a day so it's doing fine the aftermath of filming empties as I said I had lots of products this time look at this one <laughs> What time is it now? Half past seven. Oh my god, okay, I need to go. Ready to go to be a Eurovision judge wearing my new friends t-shirt. Saying bye for now.